Residents are still without drinkable tap water, but there's now a new way for them to check on the air quality in Lahaina. Our Eddie Dow joins us now with more tonight. Eddie? There is still no timeline on when those drinking water advisories will be lifted for Lahaina and Kula area. There have also been concerns about air quality in West Maui, but now the public can get information from real-time sensors on the ground. As the fires engulfed historic Lahaina town on August 8th, thick black smoke could be seen from miles away. It's breaking news across the state tonight. But on that Hawaii, night, the American Lung Association joined Hawaii News Now in its extended coverage to warn the public about potential air quality health hazards. If you're in any of the island, any of the areas where smoke is being blown your way, you're going to have to be concerned about these parts. It's been two weeks since the devastating fires. The state health department has now set up three sensors in Lahaina to monitor air quality. That data is available in real time on the DOH's website. Right now, it's at a level that's considered satisfactory, but that can change. Definitely get your information from reputable sources. So the Department of Health, um, they did just recently put up their air air quality monitors. There's so much information out there. Some people have been hospitalized for smoke inhalation since the fire. Inside the burn zone, which is still off limits to the public, crews often wear masks because of strong fumes and hidden hazards. Something noticed by our own Mahalani Richardson. There's a certain smell of this neighborhood. Um, it, it is smells of ash and chemicals and other things that I don't even know what it is. <laughs> As of Tuesday, Maui County says thousands of residents still remain under a drinking water advisory in Lahaina and also in the Kula area of upcountry Maui. They say the water system in the Kula area lost pressure during the fires, possibly allowing harmful contaminants including benzene and other chemicals to enter the system. Tap water, even if it's boiled, is still unsafe. Officials say they continue testing and the advisory will be lifted once the water is deemed safe to drink. And a link for the latest water and air quality reports can be found on hawaiinewsnow.com. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.